Everyday Superpower, the place where you learn about body language, relationships, game, everything in between. Two links are in the description of this video. One of the links will take you to the catalog of body language. It's a YouTube playlist composed of my own material. The A to Z of reading somebody's mind purely by observing their non-conscious behaviour. Second link to that, you're going to take you to the Patreon, where you'll join me in watching real life first dates. I'll break down the attraction cues, the repulsion cues. You'll be able to understand whether somebody is into you or not into you and go from there. That's the real game. Now, conversation of today, a little bit of food for thought. I might not have the answers. I might not have the answers, but we're definitely going to have something to talk about, something to um, discuss, and that is that girl you like, no matter whom it may be, right? No matter whom it may be, we're not talking on a scale here. As to whom finds who attractive. I'm saying any girl, right? The one you're interested in. She's beautiful in your eyes, so she'll be beautiful in the eyes of others. Let's say that at the very least. She's going to experience a surplus of indicators of interest. And people are going to be... Your fellow man is going to be, if not subconsciously, consciously, actively laying it onto her in a sexual manner indirect or not, through a day-to-day -day basis, through her communications. So, let's not be naive. That's going to be happening whilst you're not present. And it's going to be happening whilst you are present. These women are dumb. They are um, biologically hardwired to read body language. Yeah, unlike us who have to hit the books for a second, learn the mechanics and the wirings of everything, the women pick up on this. So how do you differ? If you're trying to be successful with this woman, how do you break through the noise? She receives enough attention as it is. She receives positive attention. She receives gratification and sexual attention above and beyond anything we as men would ever experience, right? She looks good, full stop. We make actions clear as day. We pursue, we, well, you know, I say we pursue, your general populace do, and even if the man keeps himself quiet on a subconscious basis, his body expresses what his mind wants. So, now that woman receives such a non-stop, endless, never-ending barrage of indicators of interest from your fellow man and on a day-to-day -day doing each and everything... And let's be real, she receives them from men who are doing better than you, more attractive than you, got more to offer than you, can talk better than you, can provide better than you, full stop, on and on and on. How do you break through that noise? This is it. Marketing 101. How's you as a product going to break through the noise and have something special as to which she thinks, you know what, that's the person for me. Short game, long game, what does it matter? It depends on your premise, your proximity to this person and what you can do in order to be at the very least somewhat different. You're not perfect. Take your ego out of the equation. You're not the Superman you think you are because the next man can have the same choice as you given he plays his cards right. So if you're pursuing that woman or at the very least not in pursuit of that woman but you are interested and entertained by the fact that there's a possible future with that woman through one way or another how do you separate yourself from the noise how do you create music and harmony in the ear of that woman as opposed to the dissonant racket of the noise that exists in the world at this moment in time how do you create a more colorful means of connection how do you create an art form of communication as to where everybody else is speaking in the dull and dreary. This is that game. you got to have that game. you got to have that game. And each and every single person is different. There is a foundational element to this. This is where it becomes paradoxical. Because if the woman is beautiful enough, arguably speaking, I would say... Now, I don't talk, talk about women like this, right? So I'm going to sort of break my rule momentarily in order to explain my point. 
But let's say a woman, through the eyes of the world, is deemed a 6 out of 10. And onwards, I think from that point onwards, she has enough choice, she has enough options. She isn't desperate. She isn't going to go out of her way to give you what you want purely because you have given her attention and you have tried it on with her. Like I said, there's men out there who are willing to do more than you, have more than you, okay? In many different ways are more attractive and seductive than you that are in her space, in her orbit. And that's on a day-to-day -day basis. Week-to-week -week basis, month-to-month. -month. Might be playing the long game, might be rushing in. What does it matter? Some might be mysterious, some might not be, you know? Some might be part of the friendship group, some might not be. So how do you create such an impact that you can fascinate the imagination of this woman to perceive you as different? This is what's going to get the old train of thought rolling, right? And this is where you're going to come across ideas and theories and conjure up a means of psychological prowess that is one of your own everybody's got their own methods everybody uses their own gifts that others don't have but what's yours and what can you do because you have to be different you can't give her everything else what everybody else has had but back in reference to that six out of ten it becomes paradoxical at this point because she receives, at the very least, subconscious attraction from all of these men on such a consistent basis that she now starts to fall in love with the man who does not give her that. Now, she starts to fall in love with the man who is in communication, has to be in communication in order for a relationship to be established, but then exists in a space as to where it's bittersweet because... She thinks, well, everybody else likes me. Why doesn't he? Do I like the way this is? No, not at all. Did it take me a while to understand? Yes, because initially I thought, what? What? How does this work? I feel, though, it is on a childlike essence part of our communication as men and women because it's rooted in when we are boys and girls and when we are in school and we pick on each other and we borderline bully each other we express our masculine by being physically dominant in a potentially harmful manner to the woman we pull on her hair and we throw stuff at her and we might give her a little shove in playful energy because we want to touch that person and we want to connect with that person and we want them to give us attention and we want to give them attention but we just don't really know any better and the girl may playfully if not quite harshly call us names and you know hurt our feelings because they're a bit rough with words and we're only young and emotional and finding our way and getting used to this sort of stuff, right? So, the bittersweet sort of nonchalance and <coughs> playing enemies, so to speak, is rooted within our childhood and then society foisters a um, societal pressure to suppress these actions and deem these actions childish and perhaps it's best to dig them back up and manifest that in our day-to-day -day conversations and you as a grown man are going to go around pushing a woman like physically I mean it's not gonna it's not gonna result in that but you know the whole idea of coming back home and somebody telling you oh they're flirting with you She's picking on you because she fancies you and the vice versa. That, that, that sounded unrealistic and ridiculous when we were young, right? It was very hard to understand. Such a complex concept. To the, your general human being now, it's still a 
complex concept. The idea, the whole idea of treat them, uh, what is it, treat them mean and keep them keen and uh, what else do they say, uh, playing hard to get and all this and that. It's, it's such an awkward dynamic and sort of exists in such an uncomfortable space contrary to what we really want to do. We want to love this person and look after this person and create joy and have this person smile in our presence and love us as we love them. It's such a complicated process and fine line we have to walk in order to make this positive yet contrastingly disassociative impact. But this is how we will separate us from the sea of interested men who already live within her peripheral, who are already orbiting her space. Of course, you quite simply could just be a magnificent man who has already, um, you know, made your way onto her radar through, you know, reputation, notoriety, success, this, that and the third. But generally speaking, we're not talking to men like that. We're talking to your common man who has his own problems, has his own troubles, wants to be more successful, wants a little bit of direction and momentum and just wants to talk about women and talk about our wins and talk about our losses and we're not talking about Leonardo DiCaprio here. This is not the case. We want to be loved, we want to be acknowledged and we want to be um, validated to an extent such as the majority of us out there who had the fortune of having a mother that once did that whilst we were young. We've left that now, we don't have that no more. Isn't it incredible to receive it once again? It's very Freudian, but I believe in it. It's good to be noticed, especially from our fairer half, the yin to our yang, right? As a man, we are not whole without the feminine. We have a little feminine within us, but we need the external, larger scale, perfect, divine feminine to join on. So we can connect and create. So, I say that to say this, if she is receiving a consistent onslaught, a flurry of indicators of interest, IOIs we call them, right? Flirts. verbal expressions of sexual interest, physical flirtations, social media flirtations. She's receiving that on such a constant basis as to where it's white noise. How do you come through with the perfect picture? It has to happen somehow. Somebody's going to do it if not you. But how do they do it? And... How do you beat them to it and how do you become something more special? Every once in a while a piece of media on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook or whatever becomes viral. Okay, half of it's to do with the algorithm but how do you hit that algorithm and how do you win in the world of her love, in the world of her attention, her fascination, her imagination? We've spoken on this channel in regards to a woman's imagination and generally speaking when we fall in love with somebody, we are on their mind. We create a space in that their mind for them to think about us. Have you ever loved somebody so much or been into somebody so much that they manifest in your dreams and you dream about them? That's where we want to be and that's how we differentiate ourselves from the next man. But you just need to find a way to do so. You can play me, definitely. But how far do you go? And of course, there's boundaries and limitations and perimeters. They say all is fair in love and war, which is the truth. But you still have to be responsible and thoughtful as to whether you're heading in the right direction with this person. <coughs> Wouldn't it be perfect if it was just like natural and they were the one for you? It doesn't tend to work like that. You're much better to approach it in an intellectual manner and in doing so you become a better person, a better human being. You become 
handier in the realms of positive, uplifting and quality communications with this person. If not the next person, if this doesn't work out and that's the person, the man that woman needs, what the next woman needs, that the woman after that needs, what the women around you need. They want somebody who's thoughtful, but not thoughtful through desperation, more so thoughtful through a genuine love and desire of pleasing the perfect feminine that they are. And on that note, I'm signing out. That was some game, so click like and subscribe. I'll see you on the flip side.